Hello, video viewers. So I wanted to make a quick video on something I saw on the 250, but not the 300 yet. So here is the stock spark arrestor. It's big, it's bulky, comes to a little tip, super restrictive. You can see there's three little chambers in there that let the air through and it's capped on the end and it's held in by those three eight millimeter bolts. So that's the stock one. So then I went and I found this one and I'll leave a description to this, but you see this one's completely open and it's not as long. You see here, you see how open it is. So that's the cap on the end with the three Allen bolts. That Allen bolt right there holds on the heat shield. And then you see here, I made a bracket to fit over this one. to hold this in you can see the hole pattern there the three eight millimeter bolts that hold it and you see this one doesn't have anything to hold it in it's just a generic spark arrestor so I made this bracket out of just some sheet metal I had laying around it works I actually, I have to hold it in by those three washers with the eight millimeter bolts. So what I did was I drew one up in CAD and then I 3D printed it at a resin and it's close. If I get this one on here, fits on there pretty good. The one hole's out like a millimeter, which I'm gonna correct before I, I got some 16th, actually I think it's less than 16th. It's like a 0.05 thick aluminum that I bought that I'm gonna CNC it out at work because I actually drew this in Alpha Cam and then I extruded it in Inventor and then I 3D printed it in longer wear for my resin printer. So that's it, I just wanted to do a quick video. All right, here we are, everything put back together. That's the generic spark arrestor, way more open. Come up here. What do we got? I don't even know how many miles I have on this thing. 197 miles on the clock. Brackets done, and uh, I put it all back together for. 